about those games, Sean? Oh. Oh. You Ooh. know. Okay. Oh. Oh. Look what we got in the garage today. Whoa. It's been a really long time since this car has been in this garage. I'm stoked. And today we have a pretty awesome mod that we're doing. You guys saw it in yesterday's video and it's the diffuser from Invictus Arrow. So if you follow Invictus Arrow and comment on his latest post with my car in it, you guys are entered to win a free arrow part of your choice. So go do that and you could possibly win like canards or diffuser or something. So go do it. All right. Out. So this thing should be fairly easy to install here. It's a three-part diffuser, so you have this. Boom. This part covers Sentence. up the stock diffuser and adds some more aggressive, what would you, would you call those, canards? Fins? Fins, I guess. Yeah. Okay. That boom. adds a more aggressive look to the back of your car, and this is something I've been needing for a really long time. All you guys always tell me that back of my car is lacking, and I agree with you because there's really nothing going on back here. But now, this diffuser, it's gonna be looking super aggressive back here, and also, first thing we gotta do is jack it up. Got our jack sand, we are good to go. Let's uh, see how this thing lines up. As we look down here, this middle fan thing is gonna be your middle point and it lines up with your rear brake light, like that. That's like a perfect fit too. Looks dope. Yeah, it'll be a good look. Yeah, it looks sick. Uh, now we know where it goes, we're just gonna use the self-tapping screws and self-tap it into the stock diffuser part. I love how it's gonna look from the side. Freaking exhaust and everything. Very, very nice. I'll be sure to link Invictus Aero down in the description box below. They make tons of different diffusers for all kinds of different cars. So definitely go check them out. All right, so what we can do right now is line it up in the middle, tape it up, so we could start uh, putting self-tappers into the bumper. So this needs to come this way, right there. Uh, apply some tape, like right in the middle, just so it holds up, and then uh, we can start riveting it in. Okay. doubled and triple checked our measurement here. This is right in the middle. So what we can do is we can start riveting that in now that we have the exact measurement. So the first one we did right here was right in the center. So we connected it straight to the wheel well, which is really solid. Next ones we're gonna do is just along the diffuser to the stock bumper. So it's gonna be super easy. This is nice, dude. <laughs> Look at this position. Dude, I'm comfortable down here. <laughs> Boom. Money. Dope, dude. This is looking really good. And it's like really secure and really easy. Solid. So, boom. All right, let's do the middle pieces. And I think this middle portion's Look done. Look at that. That's gonna be sick. Yeah. I'm hyped on that. So uh, probably about three or four more mounting points and the middle should be secure. Then we can move on to the side pieces and this diffuser is freaking done. This is awesome. We have finished the center piece. We mounted in a bunch of different places. So we put one on the end and then for each like little diffuser piece, we put two right here, two under here, and then on the end piece as well, we mounted another piece. So this thing is super sturdy. This thing is not gonna go anywhere. So now that the middle piece is done, we can start on the side piece. Could be oh, like, dope, yeah. It should be like this. I think it should angle in. Yeah. Like completely even with the body. Yeah. yeah, like that, that's perfect. How does it look from the back? Looks dope. Yeah, it looks sick. aggressive yeah, it's good yeah. Man, it looks so good that looks so good look on the side that looks yeah. freaking crazy it's super aggressive that looks incredible ready to uh bolt these side ends up yeah these would be way easier we bolt these side pieces up and once these are bolted up we'll set the car down pull it out and we can see what it looks like like actually on the street Yeah. Dude, 
this is gonna be dope. So let's set it down because like once it's like fully on the ground, you can get like full fuser effect, I guess you could call it. Let's check it out. Woo! Damn, son! Dude, freaking aggressive. Oh shit. Damn, dude. So sad. I'll leave Invictus Aero in the description. Be sure to go follow them and comment on the picture of my car on their Instagram for a chance to win an Aero part of your choice from them. It'll definitely be worth it and they make some really awesome stuff. So I'm very pleased with how the WRX turned out. It looks really, really good. <laughs> Later. So Tiana just got here and I bought a new drone so I want to go test it out on the beach but before we go I need, need your opinion what am I on the diffuser. I'm gonna act like I know is? what that is. What's oh my opinion? god. That's so. pretty tight. It looks like a Batmobile. <laughs> Do you like it? Thumbs I like up. it. I like it a lot. All you right. did that today? Yeah. This oh. morning. Let's try. This is gonna be maiden voyage of the new drone here. Play cool. I may or may not have crashed crashed this into a few people. <laughs> totally fine. All the propellers are still there. Trees not harmed. People totally, might be totally missing okay. a couple eyes, but that like, was very fine. scary. That was very scary. Look at it. I'm just really look. All of these are banged up, but none of them broke. I know, which is you. He literally took a palm off a palm tree. Totally fine. We got the shot. All right, let's go. I could. Oh, all right, that was pretty eventful. Thank God no one was hurt and the drone's still fine. We used it yesterday at a shoot in Palm Springs for a track day. Worked perfectly fine, no issues, thank God. But this video is over, I hope you guys enjoyed it. The diffuser on the WRX, absolutely awesome. I'm super stoked on it. So don't forget to check out Invictus Arrow. Also, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. You guys have sent me some mail in my P.O. box. By the way, if you don't know, I do have a P.O. box. You can find it in the description down below. I just realized that the past like two weeks of videos have haven't had the updated address so it is now fixed every video will have my updated PO box address so if you want to send me a letter send me some stickers for the editing desk anything like that you can send them to my PO box so yeah let's unbox these first off I want to give a thank you to Aaron Porter for sending me this letter I read it thank you so much man I really appreciate the kind words and awesome awesome handwritten letter thank you very much let's go ahead and open up this box here package I want to show you guys is from Severeski. Sorry, I'm going to butcher these names. I'm sorry, but it's Severeski.jp slash much kawaii. This is a brand and they sent me some pretty awesome stickers. I'm going to go ahead and unbox these real fast. Got some pretty awesome stickers in here. Is that all of them? Yes. These are freaking tight. Definitely going on the editing desk. This one. Oh, little peeking panda. That's freaking awesome. I'm going to put this on the bro van or something probably really cool one. 
Ooh, it's a Subi. That's freaking sick. It says Kanji that says Chasing Dreams Forever. That's freaking awesome. I love this. Thank you guys very much. They will go to good use on the cars and on the editing desk. Now for the bigger package, which is from a company called Subi Clan. So in this box, they sent me a signature sweatshirt, a new jet tag, a few decals, a lower banner, and a little shift knob cover. Thank you guys very, very much. I did read your letter before opening this. Here's a little shift beanie. That's really cool. We have this sweet jet tag. Open up this dope Subi Clan. By the way, I do wear an extra large if you're wondering, but yeah, Subi Clan sweatshirt. And then we have the decals and the lower banner with some candies. That's awesome. Of course, this is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for this. This is an awesome package. These stickers were awesome. I'm really stoked on these. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video. It, helped, it does help my channel out a lot. I will see you guys on the next vlog. Peace out. Oh, and by the way, this happened right there. I hit 200k last night and I just wanted to say I'm very, very thankful for all of you. That's unbelievable and I'm mind blown that 200,000 people follow my YouTube channel. Thank you guys very much. In honor of 200k, I'm opening up a Legends Media store on Friday. We will have very, very limited banners and very limited stickers as well. So stickers are these right here. They will have uh, black and white in very limited quantities and I will have a full windshield banner like me and Sean and Kevin have on our cars So uh, be on the lookout on how to get those I will have more information in the next video you guys see as well as on Instagram and Twitter If you want to get the first ever banner and stickers from Legends Media Be sure to be on the lookout because they will be very very limited and I'm opening up the store this Friday at 12 p.m. When the video goes live so once again, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out